Hiya folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well and welcome back to another unboxing video. And yes, this is the second one in a row. Another bus. I didn't tell you in the Metro bus unboxing that I had another one. Uh, but this one is not actually for me. It's for my good friend Adam. So Adam Flavel, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. This is yours, my friend. This special bus uh, that I got off my good friend Dean McFadden. Shout out to Dean McFadden or indeed his U not YouTube, his eBay account, 2E.737. Check him out on eBay. But this is a very special bus that he's been wanting me to have for a long time. Uh, now, I personally didn't want it in my collection, uh, not just because it's not Travel West Midlands, but because I've already got a, uh, well, I'm not going to reveal to you just yet what type of bus this is, but uh, I've got, already got this type of bus in my collection. And uh, with the Metro bus, my collection is satisfactory now. It's complete. But my good friend Adam Flavel loves buses. And he's got a load of them himself, so I thought, right, I'll buy this, and Adam can have it for his collection. Um, although I'm sure he won't mind me unboxing it first. Uh, now, obviously, I've got to do this because Dean's asked me very kindly if he can have the box for his models or for when he ships models out. So I said, yes, I'll keep the box for you. But... Um, Yes. Let's get down to it. Oops. I forgot to uh, turn my Wi-Fi off. You'll just have to ignore Messenger and let's hope A-L-E-X-A -E doesn't activate either. I forgot to turn her off. But let's get down to it. So this is a Leyland Lynx single decker. I don't, I don't believe that uh, they made double deckers. Maybe wrong, they might have done, but I, I never seen or heard of a double decker one. But uh, yeah, they made single deckers, and that's what we've got here in a lovely McDonald's livery. Oof. I miss making me hungry now. Right, let's get this out of the box, shall we? So uh, I think it's just a case of popping, popping it off. Good job I've got some nails for this. We'll That's it. Loosen it at one end, loosen it at the other end, and then we can simply lift off the plastic casing. We'll put that to one side, and you can see here we've got the bus on its little plinth. And yes, it doesn't look like there's a certificate with this one. It says uh, original omnibus from Corgi. So. Oh, okay, that helps. Fold that down like that. So I can have a nice hold of the bus, and then I'll bring my trusty screwdriver in. My trusty uh, crosshead screwdriver. I find this long one is uh, always good when it comes to unscrewing these buses. So the bus is held on by two little screws one there, one there, one at the front, one at the back. So it's just a case of loosening those. These Leyland Lynxes are quite easy to get off, actually. I've, I've found that. Undo the front. There you go. Just trying to show you what I'm doing. But uh, I am trying to concentrate. So I'm not really showing you on camera me getting it off the base because I do need to concentrate well it's the backs come off nice and simple so we just need to oh okay and so is the front that, well, that was very easy <laughs> very very easy 
Now, the problem is, what happened to the, oh yeah, there's the screws. I said to, I said to Dean as well, I'll, uh, I'll try and save him the little screws. So, if he wants to, uh, he might not want this. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I might be able to, mm. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just messing about now, folks. Trying to get this cardboard off so Dean can obviously use this base again. Uh, that's not too bad. You can see the little holes in it. They are, Dean. I'm sure you'll be able to use that for another another model and I've saved you the two little black screws as well right let's have a look at this bus then so we'll start from the front so as I did mention this is not a Travel West Midlands bus this is uh, a Bradford bus you can see there it's the number 251 to Bradford bot via Dewsbury I think that says can't quite make that out I think it might be Dewsbury because it's got do well you'll see in a moment <clears throat> but uh yes there we go uh, leyland there very nice bus isn't it we'll, we'll go this way now the only thing the only thing that these leyland links model buses don't have are the mirrors I don't know whether it's because they'd be too small to model or whether it would make the model look too clustered, I don't know. But obviously, yeah, the, the real bus had mirrors, obviously, but this one hasn't. Even my Travel West Midlands one hasn't. You know, so that's quite odd. Hello, is that Mr Blobby? Very nice cab detailing there. Steering wheel there. The lights. Is that not the lights, the doors? Wakefield, that says, and Wakefield and Dewsbury. So is this bus going to Bradford via Dewsbury? Does that say Dewsbury underneath? I don't know. It could do. It definitely looks like it starts with a D. So maybe it is. Maybe it's Bradford via Dewsbury. And then maybe coming from Bradford, it's uh, Wakefield via Dewsbury. Or eh, you never know, do you? So, yeah. That's on about the... Ma uh, Open seven days a week. That's all about actual McDonald's restaurant. Look, it's got McDonald's written on the back. And it's got some like animals and characters and balloons. There's Mr. Ronald himself. Look, Ronald McDonald himself. It's like a party bus, isn't it? Reminds me a lot of one of them, you know, party buses you could get as kids. You know, like... And, you know that they had like play areas on them, and you could like do different things. But uh, this is obviously a passenger bus. It's just advertising, isn't it? But yeah, very very nice. Some nice detailing to the wheels there. Very square wheel arches on the the links. Leyland Lynx very streamlined bus and obviously very nice engine sounds as well could do an impression of it but I'm not going to I'd sound an idiot so yeah some nice detailing at the back of the bus there you got the uh, the lights and the the registration plate obviously that's where the engine compartment will be you can sort of see down the bus I don't know what company this bus would operate for um, I mean, it's a Bradford bus I don't know whether it would be 
I don't know, like first buses or something. I'd have to do a bit of research into uh, what uh, what companies operated, you know. what well, is it Stagecoach? Is it Arriva? Is it uh, first buses? Is it, you know, is it their own? Is it their own uh, company? That's the only thing with these uh, branded advertisement buses that you just don't know. Sadly, and there's obviously the the passenger doorway. Got the little uh, indicator there. And the wheels are lovely, the front wheels. Let's try and have a look inside. You've got all the bench style seat in there. I'm literally trying my hardest to show you without getting too much glare, but it's just not working. See the seats there. Lovely deep red colour. Could hold quite a few passengers, quite a significant amount of passengers. And there's a little bit of underframe detail in there. Got the drive shaft, the drive shafts modelled, and the uh, the double axle. You can see that look, the the foot, the two wheels. That's something that amazed me as a kid. My dad said to me, "How many how many wheels do you think a bus has got?" I went four. I went two at the back, two at the front. He went, "No, it's got six wheels." I went, "No, it hasn't." He went, "He has. It has." He went, "It's got four wheels at the back." Four at the back, two at the front. When has he got four at the back? He went, go and have a look. This was when he was at a ter the Terminus once, was it the, when he was doing the number 26 uh, Travel West Midlands. My dad used to drive a, a route called the 26. And I was with him. Me, me brother and me mum was with him. And he was telling me, that they, they've got four wheels at the back. And I went, no, they haven't. He went, go and have a look. So I got off the bus. I went down to the back of the bus, had a look, peeped inside the wheel arch, and sure enough, there was another wheel behind the first one. Well, next to the first one, I couldn't believe it. But yeah. Obviously, that's for stability, isn't it? Of course. Yeah, but this is a very nice bus. Um, sadly, I just don't think it would do in my collection. Uh, my collection is Travel West Midlands through and through. But uh, I know uh, Adam has got quite a significant amount of buses and lots of different... Lots and lots of different liveries and companies... No, not that side. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, dear. But, yeah, very, very, very nice. Very nice bus. I love the colours. Um, which would be sure to brighten up anyone's collection. If they were looking for a bus that's going to add a bit of wow to their collection, then this one certainly will. So it's a beautiful, beautiful shade of red, and the yellow just complements it really well. And obviously the McDonald's branding as well. It's it's something we can all relate to as well. Yeah, po possibly in many places in the world. I mean, the USA, people watching this in the USA, you have McDonald's yourself, you know, um, even Benny Dorm has one, you know, in Spain. Um, I'm be shocked actually to find out exactly how many countries in the in the world, sorry, in the world do have McDonald's. But obviously in the UK it's very popular. I love it. I do. Oh God, the chips that to die for. I absolutely love McDonald's chips. 
So to have a model bus branding, possibly the UK's most famous popular rest fast food chain, then it's certainly definitely a model to have in your collection. And uh, I hope Adam gives her a very good home because she's a beautiful girl and she deserves uh, a loving home where she'll be looked after. And like I said myself, if um, if I wanted to expand my horizons, I would have, of course, kept her for myself. But no, I promised her to Adam and obviously Adam shall have her. So, I think that is enough footage for another successful review. Now, it saddens me to say this. This is the last model bus unboxing that I'm ever going to do because, obviously, I'm not collecting anymore. I'm not collecting anymore. And, yeah. Yeah. Going to have to move on to something else, maybe maybe a couple of aircraft. Maybe get back into a couple more model aircraft unboxings or maybe collect another couple of Blackpool trams, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not crying, don't worry. I'm not crying, I'm just a little bit sniffly, which is not good because I'm, I'm going to York tomorrow for a, a night. But there we go, another successful review and another beautiful bus for you all to have a look at. So thank you for watching. If you've stuck me with me all the way, thank you. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments section. It's always nice to hear from you. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, please do share the channel as well. You know, keep it going. You know, it's always nice to get new subscribers. I always try and think of new content to uh, to put up for you. But uh, obviously, the more subscribers I get, the more motivated uh, and passionate, you know, the more passion and motivation I'll have to do more, more videos for you. So thank you to all who do subscribe and share, support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And until the next video, whenever and whatever that may be, I will bid you farewell.